Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Y'all got Memo 600, man. Y'all know what's going on. Oh, no. Big 60. <laughs> I got a sense of my cursing because I got <laughs> Mama Mac in the building today. Y'all know what's going on. I got my artist style money. <sighs> we rolling. I'm full of Memo 600, what you all, gang? I'm chilling, man. Ball head, duty low. You know what's <laughs> going on. Dark skin, duty low. <laughs> we chilling today. That's what's up, man. Well, welcome back to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. And, and, and for one more time, can you introduce who you got on the couch for us? Okay, I got Mama Mac. Macadoo, if they don't know. Then I got <clears throat> Star Money, my artist from J-Town, Joliet. Yeah, We're going to get it going man. today. Mama Max, Star Money, how y'all feeling today? All right, definitely, def definitely a blessing to have y'all. I thought he was gonna come six hundred deep. I was, I was like surprised to see. Time. No, we we keep it professional. I'm growing a little. See, yeah. I done got a relationship. All types. Of shit. I'm growing, man. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up, man. So let's start there. How has life been treating you lately, man? I'd have been, I done upgraded. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got like three businesses, all type of shit. Like you know. You're trying to keep it the right way instead of the, you know, streets. Streets ain't showing no love. That's what's up. I saw you just uh, congratulate your son on his graduation. Oh, yeah. My son graduated yesterday. I went to the graduation, man. They show love. I show love. You know how to go. What is it? Eighth grade or? Uh, fifth grade. I mean, oh. sixth to. Junior high? Yep. Okay. That's what's up, man. Congratulations to your son. For sure. For sure. That's your only kid or yeah no i got like five plus two maybes and all type of shit i got <laughs> glizzy kids though my kids how many you got yourself oh like five damn i ain't know you had any six. kids let alone six. five yeah for sure six so 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 tell us about fatherhood are you active in your children's life all day every day i ain't got no choice so child support to be knocking at the door for sure you got five kids for real? You trolling? I got again. more than that on Steve. Yeah, yeah, I, I ain't know that. Until them DNA clear, then I'm gonna claim the rest. But yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely been a lot going on in Chicago, bro. It's been about a year and a half since our last interview. You for know, sure. so that's a whole lot of ground to cover. We might not be able to cover everything today, but you know, we got sixty minutes with Big Sixty on the couch. Uh, you know, alongside with with Mama Mac. And star money. So we just go get straight to it, man. Um, Trap Lord Ross just released a documentary about a month ago. It's called uh, 600, The Killer Rappers Who Terrorize Chicago. Why Why people keep saying that, but I never watched it. On my kids, after this interview, I'm going to go watch all that shit. Well, people, he made it six hours long. Okay. Oh, what? So let's go take a little time. Oh, what? Look, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be respectful and hold my cursing from, I got my mama right here, like, but I, I I heard, gang. I'm gonna go watch it though. I'm still yeah. here. Uh, you know your face on the cover of the thumbnail. Oh what? On, on the thumbnail, yeah, your face. Uh, and they ain't confirmed with me yet. Oh yeah. what? They got Mac in there. They got sure. Steve in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta go watch the Little Boo. Steve. Stello. What's it called? It's called uh, I'm just the Killer Rappers Who Terrorize Chicago. Oh yeah. Team 600. See, the, 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 the captions be catchy so they could get the views, but all that extra shit. It's a lot of people terrorize Chicago. Like, come on now. It's goofies. It's that, no, excuse my language. Cut that out. It's gay men that terrorize Chicago. Like, it's a lot of shit. Like, you know? Yeah. Well, he took a lot of time to uh, put this video together because I could tell you as a YouTuber, right? Okay. This is kind of time consuming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so to sit down and make a six hour video, you know what I mean? <laughs> for 600. Right. For, for 600. Sure. He did that. He did that. <laughs> Whoever you is, shout out to you. You did Trap that. Trap watch the year. As long as you ain't doing no fool shit. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions I pulled out of it, okay. right? All right. Uh, Whatever you ask, I'm going to ask. Ain't we raw, uncut, all that. Not nah, just a few. rehearse this, none of that. Because I ain't watched the whole six hours, you okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I just got a, no, I'm a, watch it. I ain't a few lie. questions I, I, I pulled we'll up out of. Anything I'm going to watch it. Um, he had a he had a segment um in the documentary about the six hundred Mac. Apparently, it's, it, it it was a Mac ten that that it was like one gang. I mean, one gun for the whole gang type shit. That Mac that we had, yeah. Y'all had the, it for years and years. Clip, broke the clip and had to go get that bitch fixed ten times. It's on photo, yeah. 
Is that Mac still around or no, no, it's gone now? No. Huh? That's some old. Uh, go on, throw that away. Throw yeah. Hey, so uh, you know, take a poll credits you as the guy who kind of like took everybody on their first ride. I'm older than a lot of them, so I never. I don't even say my age. I'm 32, gang. Phone them like 27, 26. Like, yeah, they went around when shooting was going on. They went around when a lot of street shit was going on. So like, all my kids, yeah. So you was like the big brother group. Yeah, basically. I didn't so, even, I ain't gonna lie. I used to hang on 51st and Cal you met in cottage with Young Money and Mad Boys. I didn't like the BDs, gang. Steve came to me like, look, man, these are my friends. Like, what I like, you gonna have to like, you gonna see them in our house one day type shit, you know? So I just adapted with what I saw my brother with. Like, you know, it's my little brother. I'm five years older than him, but I could tell him what's right and what's wrong. But I know his decisions always been a hundred, like, you know? Anything he said was for a reason type shit, you know? Y'all got any other siblings? Any other who? Yeah, any we got siblings? My mama had two boys and two girls. Okay. I got two sisters and two brothers. One of my sisters recently passed away, same day as Mac, but like two years ago. Really? So that like killed me. Like Mac Sorry, passed, yeah. then I get the call the same day as my sister passed. Yeah. I was still, I was on a plane when I heard that shit with Mac. The people looking at me crazy, like real crazy. Like, why is you tweaking in here? Like, I felt like I lost my sister again. Same, same date on the calendar. Same day. Wow. Same day. Yeah. Um, and speaking of Mac, dude, tell us the relationship you had with Mac. Man, me and Mac was like brother, brother, brother. Like, I felt like I came out this lady womb with Mac. Like, same thing. Every day he called me. Like, every day. Smiling, tweaking, cheesing, whatever the case is, it don't matter. We feel like he home. Like, you know, like all like, you know. Yeah. We definitely uh, were blessed to be able to interview McAdoo, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember you did the interview with Mac. Yeah, Mac called in to DJ UTV. Yeah, Mac, we, low key, we got a tour for that interview. But yeah. He explained to me the details and all that. Like, I couldn't do nothing but respect that I ain't had the money to. Everything that happened, it happened for a reason, man. Like it ain't even nothing to explain to the world. Like, but I respect my brother though. I love him. So would you say y'all bumped heads because he didn't like credit you? Yeah. Or like when I asked him who was. Yeah. So I, I think I my, asked him about you specifically, yeah, right? Yeah, for Type sure. Shit. You said me most six hundred. I was right. in my feelings, but I told him like he called one of the guys' phone. Like, yeah, uh, what y'all on? He like, I'm with Bimbo. He like, let me talk to him. I said, I ain't fucking with him. Ooh. He was just on DJ you and you ain't say you love me. Ooh, ooh. But he explained to me, like, look, man, my money wasn't long enough to pay for them lawyers and shit, gang. So on Steve McGee, I gotta respect, you know, on Lil Steve. So we had a real talk. Like, I love my brother though. Like, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, R.I.P. Mac. So when the news came out that that he had passed away, they was telling us that it was from a drug overdose while in jail. Mm-hmm. And so then we start learning that that might just be a cover up for something else. When you asked me what I told you. You told me it had something to do with the police. And then I told you I can't tell you nothing. I can't explain to you. It's something his mama have to explain to you personally herself. For sure. Mm -hmm. So we got Mama Mac. Mama Mac, how you doing today? Fine. I'm good. <laughs> oh. circumstances. For sure. But for the record, my son did not die of a drug overdose. Let's start there. Yeah. He was just mishandled in there. The wrong way. And, you know, yeah, I had to find out on Facebook. They didn't call me or nothing. So. You yeah. found out he passed away via Facebook? Yeah. Okay. So you didn't get a call from the jail? No. Wow. And the crazy thing is, this is man, mama. He came out of her womb. How did I get a call from the jails that he passed away from the jail? Like, you know? Yeah, they called you. On Steve. Some, his celly called a female that he was messing with and said, man, they just woo woo Mac. Like, woo woo. Tell him to tell his parents and all his, you know? Like, 
But like, ain't it supposed to be like a, a, a like an official representative yeah. from the jail to make? They those don't calls? care about that. To cover their ass, they gonna do whatever, gang. Yeah. So he had um, passed at like six that morning, and I didn't get a call till like eleven. And it wasn't from them. It was like through Facebook. And, um, you know, I hurry up and rush to the hospital. They were saying he wasn't there, all that. Then I went to the county. And they said that he had fell and hit his head. And that's what happened. Basically, and, you know how. Sure. You know, no real explanation. So I got my son a second autopsy and. You know, it wasn't a drug overdose. It was just his health being neglected, you know. Okay, so. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to put it together. You said they said he died, like he, he slipped and hit his head. Yeah, they say he fell out the bed and hit his head. So it was damage to his skull? No. No. Okay. So what, did they uh, like rule the death, anything specific? Yeah, they did. I mean, I really don't want to go into detail, but I this is an open case, basically. Yeah. A drug overdose. Yeah. Okay. That's what I can say. Okay, so how can, um, or like what, what, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, um, you moving forward, right? What 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 are some um, justice that you are hoping for? Is what I'm trying to ask. Well, I mean, it's it, it's just it's so much, you know. They come with it, you know. My son had been in in the county for like ten years, you can say, you know, all for one, you know, he did like four and a half, you know, for a bogus charge that they put on him then. He was out for like a year or so, and then, you know, he got charged with some more bogus shit, and we had been fighting for almost seven years, so, yeah, I just feel like my son was mishandled, you know. That's all they, they know, like, certain people hold a standard of what, like, their ability up to here, like, they know Mac, period. When you say McAdoo, McAville, like, come on, that is 600. You can't say 600 without, so the, the task force using that as gang, but it ain't even no gang, bro. This is like our brother, like, you know? So they take that shit and run with it and try to, all right, we're going to throw this on his name. Woo, he booked for this, so we're going to make it look like it's this, you know, on Steve, bro. But like, he's still a human being at the end of the day on Steve McGee gang. Like, you know how that shit goes, you. Yeah, for sure. Well, I hope we are able to get to the bottom of exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I am aware that they are able to just do whatever they do and then tell us whatever they want to tell us. And, you know, we supposed to just go on like ain't nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this obviously does affect us, you know, the family, the friends, the community of our loved ones, you know. So definitely go keep you in our prayers, Mama Mac, you know, for sure that. So moving on, uh, back to Melvin. You know, I got, I got, I got, I got a troll with Melvin. You might, you might want to take your jacket, jacket off, off, Melvin. He, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Melvin. What's up, uh, duty low, duty high? Don't Melvin, they up. say, uh, <laughs> they say you used to be the mascot in high school, man. I was. I, I was on a dance group for six years, gang. All the schools love me. All the teachers, all the yeah, I was there. What's wrong with that? What's wrong know. with they that? Say, they said you should have made sure you asked about That's that. That's what happened, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I was you, on the football team. You can't wear earrings on the football team in Morgan Park. I got caught talking to a bitch with my earrings on. They kicked me off. To earn your stripes back on the football team, you got to come up from here. So I, right, bam, I started, I started with the mascot. <laughs> oh, listen to I started, I was game banging, so I started with the mascot. I had to get on, you know? And I got back on the football team on Steve. Anybody have a problem with that? On Little Boy, I had the, I had the streets turn. I had the schools turn. Hey, hey, hey. Stop acting tough. You was a mascot, my nigga. Stop. Nigga, you had the, you I had had the, the whole schools. suit on. I had okay. the schools <laughs> turn. Do you hear me? 
From the bitches to the niggas to the Geechees. On Lusty, nigga, I had the schools turn. All right, little Jay, you don't have to include the Geechee part. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Folks going to fuck you up when they get a bond on photo. I ain't going to lie to you. Folks going to fuck you up when they get a bond. He going to fuck you up. I'm sitting back chilling. I ain't got nothing to do with little Jay. Him and Strawberry, I ain't got nothing to do with hey. that. On photo. He going to fuck you up when he get out there. Hey, Excuse hey. my language, mom. I'm so sorry. Hey, so... So who would you say is the biggest troll? Biggest troll right now? DJ UTV or Mimo 600? You. For sure you. Because I know how to turn it off. You don't. No, you don't. Your shit be way turned to mine. It's a reaction, but you keep going. You go all day. If a nigga tweak with me, I'm going to react. You, they don't have to tweak with you. You're going to go look for it on Steve. Now tell me I'm lying. Am I lying? This one I'm going to say. Okay. Bro has trolled so well in the past. Well. Like, even when he not trolling, which in our It look like he trolled. They think I'm trolling, right. Bro was not trolling, but the fans think They think trolling. I'm trolling. Everybody think I'm trolling at all times now. That's so what you think they think about me? The same thing or no? No, nah, they, they think you just be talking shit and you can't get hit of your lip. Who That's what they me? think about you. Who hit me in my lip yet? Shit, they be looking for you. Who? They found me. They found me. Who hit me on my lip, though, when they saw me? Hey, we don't know what happened when they okay. found me. They got on the internet and started saying it was some jewelry missing. On Lil Boo. It was some jewelry missing because I got shot. I got shot in the arm on Lil Steve. Phil hit the ground. Bam. Watch came off. On my kids, nigga. Ain't no nigga going to personally take shit off me, gang. I don't even play that shit, gang. Like with the chain shit last time. I'm finna be, sit here and be honest with you. Shit happens to nigga. Why would you lie and say ain't shit happened to you, gang? You you human. Something gonna happen to you, gang. Like whether you, I don't got no security right now. It's me, and Mama Mac, and Star Money, gang. We come in here official. Like something gonna happen to you, gang. Like I don't have shit to lie about. Life goes on. Next next story. Next chapter. On Steve, I don't have. Ain't no nigga robbed me. Ain't no nigga did shit to me, gang. On Steve, blood. Shit happens, gang. You know. You're right about that. Shit does happen. You didn't lie happens. about it. You were just like, no, nah, I don't want to talk about it. But that's you ain't it. Lie about I Because it. it was some police shit. I right. got shot. Why would I talk about the nigga that shot me? Type and that's shit. like, I'm police not shit. no police ass nigga, gang. Bang out. Bam, bam, bam. I end up getting hit. On Lil Boo. It's some real shit. The nigga who got the watch, I applaud you. You're going to die with that bitch, but I applaud you. I'm going to be so respectful. I got mama on here, though. Like, you know, I applaud you, gang. Next. Man. You be having some shit going on, me. That's mo. all. They love you when you fucked up, but when you on, they hate you. They want to see you come up, but when you get there, they hate you, gang. I'm Steve, blood. That's what I don't get. I respect everything, gang. Like, everything a motherfucker do from Vienna sausage to Parker House sausage on Lil' Steve, gang. This me you talking to. I done watched Butter come on your shit a hundred times talking about how he turned from snitching. On Lil' Steve. <laughs> How the fuck you turn from snitching? Let me be a snitch and get some money. On Steve, gang. Come on, blood. I fuck with Butter, though. On Lil Boo, that nigga ain't never been scary, none of that. We used to chase him, beat him. Buka brother is from Gyro, so we had to run into Butter every day, gang. Like, they was best friends. Like, you know, on Steve, I ain't never lied on a nigga. Butter ain't no bitch, gang. Like, he'll fight you, gang. Like, on Steve, I ain't had a lie. I ain't had a, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to talk about all that next interview, though. I got no, my but that's what we need today, more, so we're uh, being we, we need more uh, honesty. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what it's I'm okay. being here with you tonight. I'm Because, look, let me tell you something. You know, we come up with a city where everybody, you know, claim to be tough. And it's like, all right, if you the tough one, then who? Somebody got to be getting somebody, their ass beat. Oh, somebody got to be getting chased. Oh, somebody got to be getting fucked up. Oh, <laughs> but so but who, where I'm from, gang, like, it was that, though, but. To be accepted for what you claiming, you can't be the bitch. You can't be the goofy. You can't be the lame. You have to, your ex expectations had to be high. So we didn't have the era where, oh, he was a goofy. Four of them used to walk around, oh, you ain't shot nobody your ass a goofy. You ain't 600 on Lil Steve. You ain't shot, you ain't, you ain't, you know, on Lil Boo. So. Peer pressure. You feel me? Peer pressure up, motherfucker. Sure man. it is. I'm older than half of my homies. Like, fuck half, down there, majority, 75%. So, 
You know? Yeah. That shit come with this shit, gang. I ain't I ain't never came on your platform a lot. I ain't never came on nobody platform a lot. I never got robbed. None of that shit. I done had shootouts, all that shit. It's self-defense. That's why I'm talking about it. Anybody I shot at, they shot at me first on Lil Steve. So, like, this shit real, like, you know? Yeah. Well, the reason why I asked who's the biggest troll, because I feel like that's something me and you both got in common. Yeah, like, you the biggest troll of the world, though. But me and you both seem to be one of them type of niggas that, uh, just won't shut the fuck up. Yeah. You can slap the shit out of him. He's still going to be talking shit. Dark skin, duty low. <laughs> we be vibing on photo. Hey. <laughs> but, but, but this how it is in the hood for real, though. Like, I like to show the viewers how it really is in Chicago. Yeah. It's always a nigga that's just sitting around talking shit. Yeah. That's they like when I call you Ricky Smiley last time. I got well, see, so I don't look shit like Ricky Smiley this time, right? No, not this time. You getting that dark skin duty low. You giving Tyree, oh baby boy. You giving I'm giving Ma- Joe, Makai Pfeiffer, Joe, all type of shit. Yeah, Heavy you, on the Joe. You, yeah, you I giving Joe. I wanna know. On oh, phone him, you giving. And Joe. I hit that note in this motherfucker. Ooh. I hit that note for Mama Mac. She be like, oh, Joe. <laughs> 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 Hell no. <laughs> Is there any good girls? Hey, so tell us uh life? tell us about your relationship with Glizzy Glow, right? When did you meet her? Man, I met Glizzy at a club. Like I've been in her DMs for a minute though. She like turned me down because I ain't my expectations weren't high enough. I look like a regular street nigga, like a regular goofy nigga that's, you know, in the streets doing all this shit. But when she saw me, I saw all them, damn, ooh, ooh, ooh. I hugged her. But when I hugged her, I felt like a vibe, like you got so much shit going on, like you hurt, not even you hurt, like you got some shit going on, like you need healing. Damn, I damn, I t- I'm like, give me your number, ooh, ooh, ooh. She put the number in my phone, I'm like, I'm finna text you, you know how you pull that little slick one off. I'm finna tell you, you can give me your number, but if I text you, I know it's real. I'm still, she give me her number. We end up linking the next day. Oh, that shit. That's a whole nother story, though. She gonna be on DJ. You real? Down, so. y'all. So y'all met down in the A? No, we met in Chicago at okay. uh, Prover, uh, Promontory. Okay. She had a uh, host in that Promontory. I met her. Okay. Changed so my long- life, though. The, the man I am today. Half of this shit wouldn't even be what I'm saying, gang. You know I'd have been on here ridiculous, gang. Oh, Glizzy changed my life though, I ain't gonna lie. Whether I'm with her or not, whether it's the next or not, gang. On little boo, she told me how to treat a woman, gang. Damn, that's what's up. Yeah, I'd have been with a thousand females, gang, but like, I'm Steve, bro. How long y'all been dating now? Like six, seven months. Okay. I done got a tatted, this shit real. You done got what tatted? Her name. That's a oh, real name right oh, there? Steve, we ain't gonna say it all out, but yeah. But that's a whole big ass tattoo of her name right For there? Sure. She done with me. Cottonfield. She with me. Cottonfield. She with me. On Steve McGee, that's her real name. Cottonfield. Yeah. Yeah. She changed my life, nigga. I never, I was a street nigga, like, man on streets. Like, I got businesses. I got all type. I own houses, cars, all type of shit, gang. She she told me that shit, gang. How to maintain it, how to get it, all all that shit, gang. Well, that's what's up, man. I can't. My I can't last exes, tonight. they was just like, all right, it is what it is. He got money. He going to take care of me. I don't even want to question him. I don't even want to. The bills could be late. They ain't going to say the bills late. What, you, what the fuck you doing? They going to sit there and wait for what I got going on. She going to tell me, like, look, your bills late. I don't even want to. No, I'm Steve, blood. Like, it's real shit, man. Like, yeah, it's so responsible. basically, she made you man up. Exactly. And right. I'm grown as hell. I'm older than her, but. Right. On stage, she talking. Sometimes to, that's what it take. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, niggas don't really we realize. We get married how much, next year too, huh? We get married next year. I right, don't don't slow down, gang. Okay. Slow down. <laughs> slow down. He ready to ask them questions? Though, bro. <laughs> slow down, gang. Okay. Because I don't want you in here yeah. a year and a half later with a with a cover up over there. No, hell Plus, no. Yeah, yeah, hell gang. No. I had it's to get official, it. It's official though, gang. I had to get it covered up. A tattoo ain't shit, but ink, gang. Yeah, until you got to look at that motherfucker every day and be reminded. I don't care. I got a lot of tattoos that I got to look at and remind. I know you got the OTF you know? over there on that arm. I got to look at that. And, damn. But <laughs> with that, though, I got, look, look. With that, I got D-Thing D on the top and B-Roy at the bottom. So right. ain't no, you know, on little boy, I love my brothers. I love D-Thing, gang. I love dirt. 
For sure. I love V Roy on Steve, blood. Whatever we go through, I love, bro. Now I'm on Steve. For sure. I thought about getting the OT up tap myself. Yeah, they're going to f you up. You already said that shit you got. That shit you just right. did your last little post. They're going to be like, oh, hell no. I, I knew he was. Knew he was BD. Lil J get out. He gonna have a whole LGB community on your ass. Don't fool them. Yeah. <laughs> Young, cool, all that. He done. Can't no nigga say I'm a goofy from my hood, man. I'm Steve, blood. I don't even play that shit. I can get into it with the, the highs on Lil Boo, man. Who was, uh, who was like your right hand man growing up in the hood? Who was your best friend? Uh, I got Cap, Wu Thang, and Just Blow. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now we know you and Blow to be yeah. real close. Free Blow, that's my brother. Like on Lil Steve, I love Blow to death on Steve. Like, how long? How long Blow gonna be locked they up? They gave him eighteen years. Blow will be out before that. It's good time, and they got a percentage, all type of shit. Right. Indiana different. Right. Yeah. Blow will be home sooner than y'all think. Type shit. Yeah. I don't even want to expose the date, but Blow will be out real soon. And I think the uh the young lady that told him she's supposed to be getting out soon. Yeah, as well. I think she out. She just covering it up. I think dice out. For real. Snitch K, but dice out. I don't do no lame shit like that. Like, you know. But she know wrong right from right and wrong from wrong. I'm still. Shout out on site though. I love her, bro. Shout mm -hmm. out on site. But man, you just mentioned that you're 32. That's a blessing in the right, yeah, right? You just even, turned 30. Oh, Steve, I don't even tell people my age, gang. My birthday, May 17, 1992. I don't tell nobody my age, gang. Yeah, I just turned 33. What's it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. No, with you, it's different. You bald head. I'm embracing it. You oh, see Steve. me? I'm embracing with it. With him, it's different. He bald head. I ain't got the I ain't got the signs that I'm 32. You got the same. See, but like. see, that be the thing. See, <laughs> see, us as black men, we be too caught up in still trying to be a young nigga. It ain't we only get older. It ain't even that though. Like, no, still it's that. Wanna be, it's that. You still want to kick with the that. young niggas. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's that. Yeah, it's that. It's yeah. That. Niggas don't be want to let that shit go. You right. I'm when I woke up on May 22nd, I'm only here to be real. My birthday May 17th. Yours May 27th. May 22nd. May 22nd. Okay. You, so you, you a right. Taurus? Yeah, I'm a Taurus. You a Gemini? Yeah. Yeah, you at the gun line of that shit. Yeah. So, you know, I'm on some shit like, man, it's time to embrace. You feel me? Moving forward. We can't go back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. So, You're right. I got down to eight kids, gang. I right. got five kids, two maybes, and two step kids. Like, I'm still. Yeah. So, what you think about, like, the uh the culture in Chicago now, the climate, the music scene? You know, like, what's, what's going on in Iraq right now? I be fucking with it though, like I fuck with the music and the, the melody and all that shit, but I don't respect it. I feel like you gotta be your own man. You got Chucky, you got right. Lil Fast, you got T Ski, you got it's a lot of little niggas. Vaughn off seventeen hundred. You feel he the hottest, nigga? right? Yeah, right now. Lil right. seventeen hundred Vaughn. Shorty going crazy. You got a lot of niggas that's but you have to be your own man, gang. Cause he hot or they with me or that shit gang how y'all know Mimo for being himself right I'd have gone against the grain I done been with the grain on Lil Steve y'all love me for being myself right on Steve blood this shit real gang yeah, for like, sure I don't respect no nigga that's doing it for the wave or doing it for the time limit or you know on Steve let's talk about the push the peace movement uh you and Ruga were able to link up um I think we talked to Ruga about this. In, yeah, uh, me and Ruga talk ago. every day. Huh? Me and Ruga talk every day. For y'all that don't know, for the audience that don't know, Ruga's brother was arrested for killing my little brother. My mama's son came out the same vagina that I came out. But we are grown men. We have kids, gang. I could, I could mold my son and tell him, like, look, this is what's going on. You get a gun. You get your kids a gun. Y'all go out there and go crazy. But we could change the... You know, yeah. atmosphere and how them y'all be bosses, gang. Like, you know, I'm still, I fuck with Ruga. It'd have been a situation when I'm in the mall, niggas on my ass, Ruga to call me, like, look, bro, they on you. Get up out of that. Ooh, on Lil Steve, that's when I respected the nigga. I'm still, I done call him sometimes, look, bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm still, I fuck with Ruga, though. I'm still. Yeah, that's what's up. Even yeah. though a lot of my homies hate him, all that, they don't. They don't. They ain't coming from where I come from, cause I lost a real brother. Like you know, 
my mama's son came out the same pussy, like you know. Yeah, that's why when I um when I covered that situation, I always try to let the people know that dynamic. Like, yo, no, them two linking up, that's hard. Yeah. Like, that's way harder yeah. than J Main and Tay Savage. And not to take nothing away from them. No, I said up. that too though. J Main him out with the let's start there. I mean, we don't really shout out like like <laughs> I fuck with J Man though, gang. Yeah. You know, First I had to grow into it because I was on some like, all right, man, fool is just, you know, but he really doing some shit like Hey hey Mimo, if you could go on Hands TV with any rapper, who would it be? Mm. I don't really got no I wanna fight. Cause you know everybody wanna fight you. Yeah. I don't got no personally. I what was uh, no, what was Benzo talking about on no jumper? He said he took a and I screenshot of what Benzo said on Lusty. I screenshot of what he said. What the fuck he said? What he say? He was chasing it. Yes, <laughs> all my kids. He said you could do it. Why I can't do it, Benzo? When you ever touch my gun, gang? Like you know, I wouldn't even play like that, gang. When when I bam, I'm in a we we in the Airbnb. It's New Year's. We having a New Year's party. My homie walk up to me, he, he know better. I don't even play that shit. He like, eh, eh, eh. Benzo finna pull up. I right, man, get your goof ass on. He like, I'm for real, man, Benzo finna pull up. I'm getting my hair done on stage. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be respectful. We got Smirk, Booga, everybody, Zoo, everybody in this bitch, so we gonna be respectful. Bam, Benzo pull up, he walk in the room, he smile, the cheese, and he, yeah. We in the A, right? On Listy, I'm like, I know it ain't, you not an op to me, gang. Me and you just had disagreements, Benzo. You was one of my friends, like, every day. Like, we used to go pick up Lil V. Like, every day, Benzo, like, come on. Bam, he get the, uh, he talks. First of all, I don't sit my gun down. What the fuck I look like letting a nigga pick up my gun? My gun on me the whole time. I'm getting my hair done. I don't give a fuck if it's white people, Geechees, uh. Why you keep breaking up Geechees, gang? Lil J, you just did, <laughs> you just did that interview with Lil J. But yeah, all type of shit. Like, it could be a Mexican, I'm still here. I'm gonna have my pipe on me. He lied with that. I DM him like, why you playing like you took a pipe from me? He like, eh, you would do it, ooh. And I screenshot it and put it on the internet. Like, I f with Benzo, gang. He got yeah, a family, too. I'm a family man. I'm still here, nigga, I love Benzo. Like, so. That's why I'm like, come on, Benzo gang. Like, this real life. On Steve, you live in Atlanta, I live in Atlanta. If it, were, if it was real static, I'll watch your story till you go to a mall and f you up, gang. Like, hey, so look, speaking of the A, right? How's life in Atlanta after losing King Von and after falling out with OTF? Because that was the whole reason for moving out there, right? I'm finna be honest with you. Life I brought with my that, ass back home. Look, right, life with that. It wasn't even, all right, bam, bam, lose the Vaughn. I don't do clubs. I never did that. Like, before Vaughn got killed, I never did that. But that just made my tension even higher. Like, I don't do no clubs. You paying me, I'm coming the right way. 100 security, ooh. Folks was on some. Folks ain't never played that. You know how Vaughn, you know, on stage. So, bam, that that way. What was the second shit you asked me? Like. Not only losing Vaughn, but you know, falling out with OTF, they all down in A as well. It wasn't no falling out with OTF. On Steve, I had a misunderstanding uh, understanding with Smirk. Like, you know, we supposed to uh, fall one on one, but you know, got that shit all with. It went a whole nother way because the people I came with, like, you know, it was a whole nother, no police shit, but. Is that what led to that situation? On Steve McGee gang. Me and Smirk never got into it gang. It was the people I was around that. On Lil Boo, his people didn't like, like, on Steve, gang. It was a whole nother, my brothers, and I'm gonna ride with my brothers 100% on Steve, gang. You don't like my brothers, you don't like me, gang. Me and Smirk supposed to have a little fight one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, we get it off our chest, because I said the shit about the baby. And, you know, mm -hmm. so he was mad, like, damn, you broadcasting this shit, and I just DM this nigga, ooh, so, you know. Baby shocked me with that shit. He, why you in my DM, yo, yo, yo CEO homie. talking about, right. ooh, ooh, I'm damn, this new to me. This like, what bitch the ass fuck? Nigga. <laughs> new fast nigga, you in this nigga DM and I'm trolling him on Steve. Like, I, I love Smirk, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Smirk made me the, yeah. he not, I'm not saying he made me who I am, because on Steve, nigga, when I made Steppers, I was the truth. 
I made old people come out the closet. Like, you know, oh, little boo, you brought steppers back, young nigga. Ooh, I could be in the real light. An old man pull up like, oh, you Mimo. Ooh. But it was really D-Thing, though. I ain't going to lie. It ain't even smirk, though. I ain't going to even put too much on him. D-Thing saw the visual in me, so he signed me. But... But Smirk was still there for the push. It's not that. No, he won. They never pushed me, gang. But I'll say this. At least Smirk was... Listen, Smirk listen. Was I'm going to be honest with you. Though. Smirk was the motivation. No, the he won, gang. I'm turning myself. I don't give a fuck about dirt. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Gang. He the, but he the most turned. Look, look. I'm going to be honest with you. When you type up Memo 600... Like, I got a song with Uzi. Memo right. 600 featuring... It say Memo 600 featuring OTF and Lil Uzi. Let it blow record. Why the fuck do it say... Featuring OTL. They didn't have two cents to do with that song. I went in the studio. We in Philly one day. Bam, I bump into Uzi. I said, oh, what's up, gang? You know, I'm a fan. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a right. fan. This little Uzi. I used to listen to Grind the Wheel, all that shit. I'm damn, Uzi, what's up? He, what's up, me, my mom? Damn, how you know me? He looked at my ass. He, he, gave, me, he gave me that little look like, I'm how you know me. He like, man, you turn. Then what's his exact words? My brother could ride in hell. He said, you turn. Now I'm shocked. Like, damn, this nigga just, Lil Uzi just told me I'm turned. Well, sit I, your ass back down, boy. I'm thinking this, I'm thinking this some OTF shit though. On Steve. He tell me like, you turn, gang. Ooh, ooh. I'm damn. Now I gotta, you know, he tell Smirk like, I, I'm, I got my phone. I'm like, listen to this. I let Uzi hear a song I got. The nigga walked off with my phone, gang, went in the booth and recorded over that song. I didn't ask for no feature. I didn't do none of that shit. I say, listen to this song I got. He walk in the booth. He come back out with the song recorded with him a verse on that bitch. On Lusty, that's how I knew I was that. On my kids, gang. He come back out with the song. And he shouted you out in the verse. Tell my this bitch with me, Mo. On Steve, bro. You know like, how it was no dick riding <laughs> shit. He tell Smirk, we had a show in Philly. He like, man, y'all go on here. I got Mimo. I got 13 cars outside. I'm going to make sure he get to the show. And he performed at the show. Oh, my kid. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Lil Uzi Vert. That's why. And all that gay shit. All, all <laughs> love with, that nigga is a real nigga, gang. Like, nigga can have they feminine ways. I ain't going to deny that. You do a little feminine shit. That nigga is a real nigga, gang. Yeah. Like a real nigga, gang. All that pistol tone, all that Chicago shit we do, he do that shit, man. And that's the vibe that I get from him, but it's like he be on some extra fruity shit, so it'd be it be confusing. I ain't gonna lie, that's the image. Your label will come to you like you gotta be different than other niggas. You gotta do, like, you gotta do, wear a skirt. I ain't gonna do that shit, not saying me. I ain't wearing no skirt. You had shorty on here sniffing perks last time. I ain't doing no extra shit on Lil City, gang. I don't even know that little boy that was on here sniffing that. But on Lil Boo, I ain't got to do no extra shit. I could be myself and we still going to go viral, gang. Like, you know? Yeah. On Lil Steve, I would have been through so much with everybody these niggas admire and look up to. I done been through that shit with them. On Steve. You definitely want to survive us. I would have been shot. I just recently got shot. I would have been shot. I got shot in the hip. It came out of my chest. On Lil Boo, I done been through some shit, gang. Like, real shit. Yeah, man. Um... I think I think the gunshot to the arm could have been avoided, you know. Mm-mm. You hey, cause whatever you no, no limit had going I was on off that shit you just paid. Hey, for. you started that. That clubhouse yeah. shit with no limit, you started no. that. First of all, I'm finna be honest with y'all. No limit had nothing to do with nothing. Oh, Lusty, it was a thirsty nigga that's getting that. This is what I do. We got the advantage. Let's get him while we got a chance. Oh, Lusty. And I wasn't going for that. That's all. But I'm talking, about, I'm talking about what started it all with the clubhouse, yeah. you know, the back and forth. No Limit had nothing to do with nothing. I'm not a tour of No Limit. They didn't have nothing to do with that night when I got shot, my watch, none of that shit. No Limit had nothing to do with nothing. It's one specific nigga, man. Okay. Like, he so felt what, like, this what he do, and he got the perfect timing. Let's get it together. I'm still. I'm a man with you, gang. I yeah, ain't never sure. lied about shit, gang. He had the perfect advantage to do it on Lil It's only three of us in here. It's 40 of y'all. On Steve, I ain't going either. On Steve, I ain't going. It could be 100 of y'all. I ain't going, gang. Yeah. Bang out every time. You blick your blick, I'm blicking mine. On Steve. 
It was a lot of people that went up on the internet mocking the situation. Cause I'd have been through so much. I don't look. I'm finna be honest with you. I trolled so many niggas and made niggas embarrassed. And when the opportunity come, they gonna chew me alive, gang. I could get hit by a bus, gang. They gonna troll me, gang. Cause I done trolled so many niggas, gang. But I grew up, gang. That shit. Like, I, I be looking at old videos and like. Oh, Lusty, right, I'm a hey, fucking, hey, that just I'm a me, fucking lame, that's gang. That's I was like, hey, really, really reacting to this type of shit. To like, what? To what? What you talking about right now? Period. Like that cap shit. Uh, first of all. Do you know what your biggest Listen, listen, moment? I'm going to be honest with you. I got a tour with nigga on Clubhouse. He get that. On cap. Woo. It's a nigga from 63rd that's from cap. Not no limit cap. On Steve. He on cap, nigga. Fuck you, fuck Steve. Woo. I said, nigga, fuck cap. I want to talk about no limit cap. I ain't ducking shit, nigga. I don't give a fuck about what. What's gonna happen? Gonna happen, nigga. Fuck y'all on Steve, nigga. I want this and no limit cap, gang. Me and Smurf, me and her, we done had conversations, all type of shit after that. On Steve, nigga, I, I never disrespect. They ain't never did shit to me to disrespect them, gang. So why the fuck would I? But in my mind, I'm from the trenches, the real trenches. I know who is who and what is what. When he said on cap, nigga, I made sure and want they cap. On Lusty, I nigga f cap, nigga f you. Woo woo. I'm thinking he talking about 63rd cap, but whole time they took that shit and ran with it. On Lusty, I don't give a f what y'all ran with. It is what it is with now. Like, come on. You know, no limit that has shit to do with shit. On Steve McGee, nigga, I got a bang out, I got shot. I feel, watch. On Lusty, I never. Get robbed, none of that shit, gang. On Steve, blood. I was fucking with Sada Baby. I went to his show. That's my homie, real life. Like, on Steve, we got mutual friends with, you know, on Lil Boo, gang. Ain't no nigga taking shit off me, gang. You gonna die on Lil Steve. You gonna die, gang. Hey, I'm hey, not. So what? I'm trying to be so respectful as I can because I got my mom on her, gang. So I'm not trying to be no, you know, yeah, we gonna get sure. another day for that, though, where it's just me and you. Hey, so look, bro, uh, what do you think, if you could think real quick, right? What do you think is your biggest online trolling moment? Because I got one in mind. I want to know what your biggest, what you think uh, your biggest is. Uh, you troll way more than me. I don't know how you call me the biggest troll. You be troll. My biggest online troll moment was with Lizzie. But I just talked to Lizzie today for like an hour. That ain't your biggest yeah, one, because I don't even know about that one. I just yeah. talked to him for your biggest yeah. online troll. It's when can't get right got killed. No, that was some goofy shit. I was childish, immature. That was shit. your biggest troll because even Vaughn told you in that video, he man, I can't wait till they get. I don't want to say he he ain't say I can't wait, but he said something you know along the lines of when they get your ass, it's gonna be ugly. They, they gonna, gonna troll be trolling, the fuck out right? No. First of all, Vaughn used to over put the He used the, to over troll. He used to put the jumper cables on whatever I did. I just watched the tweet yesterday that said, This me nigga me most slow as fuck, but I love him. On Steve, nigga, I just watched the tweet. Vaughn tweeted, said, This nigga me most slow as fuck, but I love him. On Steve, gang. I don't be on no troll and shit. I'm grown, gang. I'm 32, gang. I got kids, I got mamas, like. That and he shit keeps saying that, y'all, because his Cause birthday when I die, passed. My family still got to reap the benefits of what I did and said, like, you know, no I'm Steve, blood. I want my family to be safe, like, beneficiary, like, you know, I'm Steve, blood. If this is the new and improved Mimo, I appreciate it. And I ain't going to lie to you. It took for me to get with Glizzy to think like this, gang. Because my last bitch used to be like, it is what it is, whatever. As long as you doing this or doing that, it is what it is. This lady literally sat down with me like, look, bro, you being goofy. Like, your ass look like a goofy. Like, on Steve, bro. Like, on Steve McGee. I been thinking like that, but yeah. she really showed me, like, if my girl don't approve with this, what the f*** you think the bops that I'm thinking hey, he about? Gonna gonna nigga. He ain't going to listen to a nigga telling him this. I tell you. Think about it, gang. He got to hear it from look good. That lady taught me how to be a real grown man, gang. Like, I'm grown to say I'm older than her. I should have been knew how to be a man, but. It took for me to get in them circumstances and situations for, you know. Man, shout out to Glizzy Glow. I'm Let me tell you something. I love to hear this, and I'm glad you're expressing this right now. Because me, I'm still single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'll be looking at everything. <laughs> no, nah, for real. I'll be looking at everything I've achieved. And sometimes I'll be wondering, like, damn, if I had a raw-ass woman by my side, 
It'll this should probably you out. be. It'll be you I can have a normal woman, but a raw one, you gotta overstep your expectations. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be a woman. You gotta That's over. That's like God made women, because we ain't gonna listen to no man. Our homie, we yeah, for sure. We hear them all, but it ain't from the penetrate for real. Exactly. You listen to a woman, she gonna balance you. Because it comes different. And she show you she got your best interest. You know what I'm saying? I ain't judging like everybody else. Like that. That's balance. Ooh, that boy drunk. No, it ain't. Oh, my mom, you the did some shit like that. Well, tell us about your artist Star Money over here from Jolly S. Since you so drunk, go ahead, Star Money. Tell us <laughs> what's going on. He gotta get something off, oh, He gotta get <laughs> something. Off. Go ahead, Star. Tell him how you coming. He just spilled oh, the whole bottle. <laughs> man, I be chilling, man. I be. So you working. from Jolly bro? Yeah, I'm from Jolly Illinois. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk to us though. Where you from? You know how you coming? Uh, you know That's I don't know you. Just you know. I, give you the flow. I'm, I'm from Jolly Illinois, man. Uh, I've been rapping since I was like. 11. I ain't taking shit serious and I was like 18 type shit. I was in and out of jail, popular as hell my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I was always in the streets before the rap shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was older guys in my hood rapping, you know what I'm saying? So they was influential to me. You know what I'm saying? Like they was the close thing to No Limit, Hot Boys, Big Time and shit like that. Okay. We was listening to them niggas growing up. Who? Who? Well, who is these artists? Big Thomas, Hot Boys. No, I'm talking about who who from Jolly Oh, Oh, oh Reggie Loke. Um, he was from the east side of my my, my city. What's I'm the name again? Side. Reggie Loke. Okay, Reggie Loke. He passed away. Um, C Nun, um, Ian Loke. It was a lot of different people from the opposite sides of the town. They were doing they doing their thing, and I grew up listening to them. And you know, shit, I was just working. I grew up knowing everybody lyrics. Right. The major artists knowing their lyrics on the radio. Shit like that, you know, you know, motherfucker in it in the music. Shit, they already had a passion for it. That was influential to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers. How did you and Mimo link up? Shit. Look, bam, let me explain. Bam, the situation <laughs> with my chain. Yeah, he look, he ready now. Look, the situation remember remember uh the Nez, the TTB Nez, my my OTF chain came on missing. My cousin stole it when I was in the shower type shit. Star money DM me one day, he like, man. I can uh I can get you another chain. Woo woo, just do promo with me. Woo woo. I tell him like, I right, fuck that. In my head, I got so much money. Fuck that chain. I can get a chain. I DM like y'all do grills. Woo woo. He hell yeah, we do grills. We gonna do a grill for you. Woo woo. I got my grill from them. Woo woo. So we linked in on stage. After that, we linked in. What a bottle. Where your grill at? I it's, took it. Look, where your grill at, Mimo? Look, look, he look, look. look. Take, I took veneer. my grill out because I wanted veneer, veneers. I took my grill out because I didn't want my teeth to rot. True. True. I watched Quavo and all that shit, but my grill will be back before next year. I'm getting. I'm going to plug Geo. Shout out plug Geo. Now I'm getting half off. Shout out plug Geo for this. I'm getting plug Geo grill, invisible sets, all that shit. What did you say? I'm getting the plug Geo grill, all that. I'm still. But yeah, I, I do that. Well, that's what's up, man. That's how I got my grill, though. My first grill came from Star Money. Yeah, I do the music. Tammy World. Yeah. Shout out Tammy. Yeah. Now, look, I am picking up a different vibe from Mimo today, I will admit. You know? I'm telling you, gang, it's glizzy, gang. We grown, I ain't gonna lie. To I'm a grown and he keep, I ain't even trying to throw it off on no female. Like, you grown, goofy ass nigga, it take for a female, but on Love Boo, gang. It took for her to. Come in my life to, you know, I'm still. I could get on this bitch. Oh, I like I a gangster. You your credit to your any mom. nigga that ever shot at me, did anything to me, he know what happened. Same, like you know, I ain't gotta explain to that shit. Like on little boy, it's not for the world to know that, but he know. But on little still, my girl taught me a lot of shit, gang. On still, like, that's what's up, man. So what's your relationship like nowadays? And she court, she courts you with everybody. Any niggas I done got a tour with, she still friends with some of them. Like, I don't even step into that business. Like, on Steve McGee, like, what you know mean? how some bitches be like, you in tour with my nigga, you in tour with me. On Lil Steve, I don't expect you to do that. Please, baby, just take care of yourself and let me do what I do. Like, you know? You want her to still be cool with niggas on you in tour with? Nigga. On Steve, nigga. She don't have nothing to do with nothing, man. On my kid. This is a lady at the end of the day. Fuck a girl, a woman. She is a lady at the end of the day, gang. I respect you for being yourself on Steve. Oh, yeah. She's taking care of you. On Steve, now. blood. I'm looking like, at his face right now. He dead Steve, ass. It's real shit. <laughs> like, real shit, gang. 
No, that's what's up, man. That's that's a good thing, man. Um, black love is beautiful, right? Like, cause we ain't got too much of it in our community for real. You know, yeah. we grew up on money over bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck hoes, get this oh, money. You know, yeah. like sometimes niggas will be rebellious to their own mama, but they'll listen to niggas uh, allow on this camera before they feel they self. You know, your mama in your best interest. You know, your mama ain't gonna say nothing wrong, but sometimes us as men, we listen to. I ain't gonna lie. Before I came here, I talked to my mama like, she look, man. Ooh. Then this is my mama right here. She tell me like, oh, look, boo, you know what we here for. Like, we being honest, gang. Ain't nothing to lie about. Ain't nothing to sweep over the rug. I ain't lied to you yet. What I lied about? You, you know, talked we... about the chain. You talked about the watch. All oh, that shit official. We ain't lying. I'm Steve. Shit happens to everybody, gang. Like, the fuck you gonna lie? Like shit happens to everybody. Move on to the next and keep going, or turn your savage up on Lil Steve. One or the other, right? On Steve McGee, man. Mama Mac, you know we 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 just heard the men uh, mention how much, uh, you know, the mom, the mom voice, the mom influence. You know, mom and right. You know, I'm scared and, and, to curse because she right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm scared to curse because I don't curse it from my own mama, gang. That's my your, brother. My what, brother will treat me like, what's oh, your Steve, nigga, make sure mom cool. What's your thoughts on mama knows right as a mom? Just as a mother. I mean, I don't know everything. I'm still born, but being mom, I've been here a little bit longer than you, and I know a little bit more, mm -hmm. so... You know, look at it as I'm trying to inform you and not tell you what to do. Right. And I'm going to say this here. Shout out Buka on Lusty. Buka do everything he's supposed to do, gang. We may have our disagreements and all that, but on Steve McGee, nigga, Buka been thorough since day one, gang. You knew I was going to ask about him next? On Lusty. No, I didn't know right. that. But on Steve, nigga, shout out Buka, gang. Buka, he got his girl, he got his life, his child, all that shit. I don't love Steve. I love that man with a passion, gang. Half the shit I do, I learned from Booker, gang. When we ain't have shit, nigga, we was living in a, a closet in his mama crib, gang. On Steve McGee, I love bro. Like, That's I could call him right now, like, all right, something happened, woo woo. He go, man, yo ass a goofy, make sure, woo woo. What you got to it? Like, he gonna make me feel low, but he gonna do it, though, on Steve, gang. Like, you doing all this shit, but it's your life, and. You know, it's your life together, gang. Like, on Steve, I That's learned a lot up. of shit from Booker, too. On Steve, bro. Hey, man. And on some grown man shit, um, there's one there's one 600 member that I really want to talk yeah. to, I really want to interview, no, right? No, I love Booker, though, gang. I ain't going to lie to you. Look, it's one 600 member that I really want to talk to, I really want to interview, and I probably need your help, right? Who? It's 600 Breeze. I can get you there. I'm still doing the interview, babe. I'm going to call you right back. Uh, you said who? Breeze? Yeah, because me and Breeze didn't have some differences online, you know. I ain't going to lie. Breezy go off. Breezy be like his pride, like on Steve, bro. I understand. Like, yeah. And that's why I want to talk to him, literally. Literally talk to him. Bam. You know what I'm saying? 2010, 11, 12, I was a nobody, gang. I was just... You can see the Chief Key 300 videos. I'm all in that shit. I done, I done probably got more clout than the rappers that's from my blog, gang. But I was just in the videos and folding them fuck with me heavy. But Breezy made a way for the rappers in 600 to... Bre fuck Breezy, 600. E-Day on Lusty, nigga. They made the way for us to do what we doing right now, gang. But Breezy, he a respected, though. As long as your money right, folks are respected. I'm still... I with Breezy gang. He ain't never told me shit wrong yet. Maybe we don't fuck with the same niggas and all that shit, but Breezy will tell you, you know. Yeah. When it come to this block shit gang, block on Steve. I ain't know no police shit block. Family gang. When it come to this family shit, Breezy gonna stand on what I stand on. Yeah. On Steve. Buka too. On Lil Buka. Buka tell me, bam, I could call Buka like, all right, Star Money just got shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What you got to it? Like, making me a reality check like you doing all this shit, but what you got when it come down to shit like this on Steve? Like when it come down to real shit, feelings and situation, fuck feelings, real situation, what you got? I got this, but what you got? Like you doing all this internet shit, but 
I'm still. That's you got why I respect Booker, man. Yeah. I'm still. Damn, I'm still. I used to ask as a concluding question for a message to the youth, but your boy remote and took that question and took it to no jumper. What did so, he say? You know, he, no, that's the question that he asked at the end of his interviews. He asked it to you. That's how I called it. What did he say? What's your message to the youth? That's my concluding question. My message to the youth. I don't have that question no more. Uh, Hold on. I was going to say, be yourself. <laughs> Do not get on the internet and want to be Lil Durk, Chief Keith, Sexy Red, Cardi. Emo 600. Do not want to be none of that shit. If they like you, they're going to like you for who you came to be. The nigga on Lil Steve, I don't even know this shorty from a can of paint. The, can of paint. The nigga Vaughn, 17, 1600, whatever. He come on this bitch with... Where my glasses at? He come on this bitch with glasses, and they still love him, gang. Right. I wore glasses my whole life, and I was scared to wear glasses because I look like a goofy. On Lil Boo, shorty is real life. He wear his glasses, ski mask, gun, no gun. On Steve, look, be yourself. They gonna like you for whoever you is, gang. If they don't like you, try another uh, ideology. What the fuck? Try another. What was the word you just tried to use? No, on Steve. <laughs> Cause I'm still, I'm thinking too hard. Shout on Listy, I think, I think. Shout out to Don Julio. St st start another career on Listy. If they don't like you for how you coming, start another career, gang. Shorty came in this bitch with glasses and ski masks. They love him on Steve, blood like. So. I don't even know him, gang. I know it's niggas in his ear that's telling him, "Oh, f dude, he a goofy." Ooh, ooh. Cause I see him with niggas that I don't f with, but I never DM him like. I'll work with him. I never DM him like, let's work, shorty. Woo, woo. But I don't see I'll work with shorty, though. He turned. He got some shit going. It ain't even because he turned. But I know what I know in my city, gang. This is my city, gang. I've been here 32 years, man. On Lil Boo. Show that. 32 years in a rack. On Steve. I've yeah, been man. here. So I know what shorty. He 21. What, 21? I got kids down at his age. Like, you know, on Steve, blood. I f with shorty, gang. With the King Yellow shit he got going on, I f with Yellow. I knew Yellow since I was a kid, since his age. Oh, little boo. Niggas got their own. Yellow and Tua, well, not in Tua, but he has some. I'm in an interview with Adam 21, Adam, and pop up Adam snitching on Quavo and Breezy the same day. Oh, little boo. I don't got shit to do with that. That's not. Yellow snitching on Quavo and Breezy? On Steve, blood. I f with Yellow. I f with. Breezy, that's my brother, hundred percent. Whatever Breezy say, I'ma go with it. Fuck yellow, all that. But on Steve, I fuck with yellow gang. That's that's just my opinion, gang. On Lil Steve, yeah. I'm here to be the real nigga, gang. Not no all cause the internet said it, cause the rap shit, cause of, you know. Yeah, sure. I'ma be thorough, gang. So what do you think? How can we make Chicago a better place? I feel like. I ain't gonna lie to you. J Man got this shit going. I ain't trying to bring no other nigga shit up on your platform, but J Man got the right wave, gang. He got niggas like me. Ain't no real, all that, no police shit. No real member ever been on J Man platform. I'm going on his platform two days, gang. Like, this real shit, gang. That's gonna change the world. Fuck the internet. That's gonna change the world, gang. On Steve. Like, this real shit, gang. On Steve, bro. It's the unity, man. Y'all doing a great Like, we, we doing that's a great thing. Yeah. Name yeah. one Good nigga. All right, look. Name one nigga that said they push your piece from the BD side. Name him. Type shit. Name him. I'm, I'm right here waiting. You. Name them. Good, Name them. Everybody got good. an image. They got a career. Like, that shit don't hold no way. I done did everything y'all could think about, gang. That shit goofy. I done blew at these niggas. They done blew at me. I done ran from them. They done ran from me on Steve, gang. Like, you can't be a gangster, a killer your whole life, gang. Something gonna happen to you. That's why when you brought up the watch shit, shit happens. On liberal, I'm not here to lie to you. Ain't no nigga rob me, but shit happens, gang. Something gonna happen to you, gang. On Steve McGee, gang. That's what come with this street like, shit. Like, that's what come with this street shit, gang. Yeah, I got two more shit. watches on the way, though, on my kids, nigga. Next yeah. time we do the interview, I owe you. On Lil Boo, I'm going to be on that bitch overflow. On Steve, nigga. Let's show that. Can't no nigga say they did shit to me, though. I got shot in the blick out on Lil Boo. That's self-defense. That's the only reason I'm talking about. Nigga shot at me, I shot back. On Steve, yeah. nigga. On Lil Steve. <laughs> this yeah. shit real, gang. Like This shit too real. Well, Mimo, I appreciate you chopping up with us this afternoon, man. 
Uh, any shout-outs to closing March? You want to leave the people? Man, shout-out Free Nook. Free Nook. Oh, hold on. Free PGF but, Nook? No. Hell no. And shout-out Tammy World, man. The old Johnny of the <laughs> city, man. Go get that slider. Shout-out my girl, Glizzy Glow. She got yeah. her shit going. We got a new single yeah. called Water. We got the challenge going out. I need everybody to do that shit. Lonely, lonely, All lonely, the bad lonely, bitches. What song you want me to play right now to, to close this out? Glizzy I'm Glow Water. Huh? Glizzy Glow featuring Mimo 600 Water. It's not, on, it's not on title though, is it? No. Uh, you too? I'm finna pull it up. Well, go ahead, yeah. my bad. I ain't mean to cut you off. We gonna cut this. Set, Say it again. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, man. Shout out to the whole Tammy World, man. Shout out to the whole 1017, man. Lonely a Mac, Lonely a Lil Steve, man. Big ups to me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Only reason I'm... Not, I ain't gonna even say the only reason. Unity, I'm, bro. I fuck with who feeds my pockets. Message. But on Steve, when my mama hit me and say, I need my story across the world. Like, you know, I'm here for this lady right here, gang. Yes, yes, sir. We need justice for McAdoo on sure. Lil Steve. Sure. We need justice right, for McAdoo. For sure. to lawyers. Lawyers, all lawyers hit me. We got them. money, we got whatever you need on Lil Steve. Just hit us on Lil, I'm going to pay the fee, whatever. Make sure my mama good, gang. On stage, just make sure my mom good. Mimo uh, 600, DJ UTV. Shout out to Word T Productions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Put in the hashtag Justice Shout out Glizzy Glow. Y'all know how to do it. Let's do it. No, I walk around with that check. I'm the first to rock your ice. Put your chain around my neck. No, I like a little freaky bitch. She wanna have the sack. Got a rock in my BBs and a bitch throwing up my sack. You know how my diamonds water. Pussy wet like water. Hit it from the back. He make that ass move like some water. Let the bitch rock the Cuban link while I hit the bitch from the back. Diamond sing on a piggy ring and a bitch got on back. DJ, you go crazy.